Welcome back to Done With Depression. Make sure to like and subscribe. So we're on chapter five of The Voice of Knowledge. And if you haven't seen the other videos, I have links um, for them. I have a playlist up here that you'll be able to click on and you can see one through four so far. And we're on chapter five right now called The Storyteller, exploring the characters in the story. And so it's starting out with a thought progression where you take away all the assumed things in your life and you start out with what is truthful. So for instance, I am me <laughs> is truthful, I guess. Um, not making assumptions about other people because that could be a lie, but I am just starting out with what I know for sure. A dog is a dog. I am a human. A car is a car. Those sort of things. And then when you start out with that, you realize that you don't really know a lot about anything because they're all just judgments. And so in this chapter, it um, talks about that and how he discovered himself. So he said, for years, I thought that I knew myself until I discovered that it was not the truth. I only knew what I believed about myself. Then I discovered that I am not what I believe I am. And it was very interesting and also very frightening. When I discovered that I really don't know anybody and they don't really know me either. And so it's basically in this chapter, it's talking about how we're all in a dream per se. And so we're in this dream and our life or our perception is the center of the dream. So we, uh, we are the author of our own going story and we tell um, the story of ourself. In our story, everything is about us and it has to be that way because we are the center of our perception. The story is told from our point of view. So after that, it goes on to talk about the secondary characters in our story, which is everyone else except us. So those characters are just a view of how we see them or a story of how we see that person. So for me, I can see my mom and my mom is just the perception that I give her of being my mom. Me giving her that role or that perception is not who she is in entirety. It's who she is as it's related to me as the main character. Uh, you create an image for the secondary characters in your story and you assign them roles to play. So everyone in our story is assigned a role related to how they relate to us since it's our perception and we are the main character. Um, it also talks about respect being one of the greatest expressions of love. Um, in our life, a lot of people try and tell us who we are or tell us what our story is and that's not respect. Restre respect is knowing that you're capable of creating your own story and letting you create it on your own. The only way to change your story is to change what you believe about yourself. So a lot of times I remember being younger, you'd go to a different school, you'd think, oh, I'm gonna be this, or these people are gonna like me, or my life is gonna change some way because of others' perceptions of me. But I never realized that it's not others' perception of me, but my perception of myself. So that's what it's really hitting on. Um, if you clean up the lies you believe about yourself, the lies you believe about everybody else will change. Since we're the main character in our story that we create, if you change the main character, you change the perception, you change everything else around the main character. Don't waste your time taking things personally. When other people talk to you, they're really talking to the secondary character in their story. So we also have to take another step back and realize that we aren't the primary character in other people's story. They just see us for the role that they give us, and that's not who we are either. That's not our full character. It's just their perception of how they see us. So when we take things personally, we're taking it as the truth, but really it's just their story that they're telling. 
And then the last part it says humans are storytellers of God. It is our nature to make up stories to interpret everything we perceive. Without awareness, we give our personal power to the story and the story writes itself. With awareness, we recover the control of our story. We see that we are the authors and if we don't like our story, we change it. So kind of going on um, with changing yourself rather than trying to change others. Uh, it's our story and only we can change our story with changing ourselves. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, click the playlist up above and make sure you catch up on all the other videos and I'll see you guys next time.